competition. So with 64 top players qualifying for this competition, seven former champions and seven former runners-up. It's actually three past champions in the semi-finals but one past runner-up with Andy Moss and Glyn Cookson facing off in a repeat of the 1997 final. And in the other semi-final, Matt Gilmore, winner at this venue back in 2001 from Merseyside. He's up against Greg Smith, 2013 winner from Warwickshire. And it's going to be this match that we're going to concentrate on today. So here we go for the first semi-final then of the Flow Fit British Crown Green Bowling Association All England Merit Final here in North Wales where we have got a fantastic game in prospect. Number 20 and leading out Greg Smith, the youngster, the firm favourite now to win the championship up against Matt Gilmore wearing number 9 in his red shirt and in fantastic form and a previous winner of this competition so two previous winners in the first semi-final Andy Cairns is back in the commentary box and uh, wow what do you think about this game? Wow indeed what a tremendous prospect this match is not only is Matty a former winner is a former winner on this green 15 years ago maybe but still you don't forget greens Greg Smith to me he's just up to the gear putting all sorts of pressure on his opponents and his last game he put a very good player just totally down and out put, put him away no problem um, can he do the same here Matty Gilmore hasn't really been tested today he's played very very well indeed Greg has got better and better as the day's gone on yeah he's found it a little bit difficult on this number one green where all the closing stages matches are being played but straight into his stride to the first end to cracking balls and he's uh, down with his left hand looking at it where to deliver it when to let it go and down he goes nice and calm and he seems as though he's into the competition and we're, we're in the nitty gritty stages but he's really now focused Andy on, on what he wants to be he wants to be the champion again he, he can see that trophy at the end of the, the end of the line he can see the check he can feel the, the pound notes almost he's just found a mark that he's, he's, that he's you know gone to his liking he, he was struggling to play early in the games he didn't know where to go where to send he was going in the corners and now he's found a little mark 25 yards shallow round peg under the crown and he's putting them fairly close putting all sorts of problems for his opponents yeah this is the uh, creme de la creme of the competition for the county merit uh teams and, and, and clubs of everybody's in, involved in it they started out a long long time ago qualifying rounds played all around the country to get to this stage on the finals day and now we're into the semi-final and once again it looks so Greg Smith is raising his arm to count another one on the score sheet and he doesn't want to be getting left behind Matt Gilmore up against the red hot favourite Greg Smith natural ability no nerves and uh, a real high quality youngster who's taken to the game fantastically well well you can tell he used to be on the books of uh, Aston Villa as a footballer he's got that sort of mentality very competitive very fit very athletic and he's brought that to bowls he, he, you can see him as the way he moves across the green well there's a response there from Gilmore he'd be well pleased with that as it, yeah they're pointing one down Greg Smith now hey up oh, striking he's telling the crowd watch out he's hoping somebody's going to stop it if it, it misses wow what speed's that going oh, oh, oh he's hey up oh, well, well then where's, where's that, that jack going <laughs> where's that jack he's going he's running it off look at him he's running it off he's running the jack off. It off he's blowing it off has it gone off it's gone off Whoa, look at that, look at the <laughs> smile on his face. Gilmore's not as happy as uh, Smith is. Well, I've never seen anything like that. Look at Gilmore, he's giving him the eagle eye there. <laughs> oh dear, he's blowing it, he was pushing it, getting off the green, he said. Brilliant, highlight of the day, that one for me, Andy. Well, I tell you, that just shows you, doesn't it? <laughs> Absolutely tremendous. That's a dead end, he's, he's struck the jack off, he's gone up on the opposite side of the green, so they just start the end again, a metre on, and Greg gets to set the mark again. Nobody counts any chokes. Once well, that jack's in the ditch, it's dead. Greg Smith was blowing, throwing his arms, doing everything to get the jack off at a completely different angle to where it was placed, and he did enough. You don't, uh, you don't see many people running a jack up. <laughs> Well, 
he's got to put that behind him uh, his opponent Matt Gilmore because he was sitting on for his first chalks in the game taken away from him as it's a glorious sunny closing stages now and the green will still be picking up pace with the sun beating down on it you actually can't get two more dissimilar players than these. You've got Greg who's fully into everything after every ball. Matt's a little bit more laid back, a bit more subdued. Does get after him, but only only when he knows he's got a good ball. Well, he's asked if he's two down. There's a bit of room around the top. Smith's looking, he's only one. He'll just try and beat his own ball. If he beats his own ball, he'll probably fall in. Anyway, off he goes. He's played over the top of him. Yeah, better road. Yeah, has he got just enough in it? Just needed a length. He wants to nick if the jack. Oh, that's his aim. Was just enough, but he's definitely drawn with the one, and he's going to get one on the score sheet and a loop for two. Smith fancied his own. Has another look at the other side. Measure. Well, Smith was right with his judgment. He said that he was only one and uh, that's all it is in the end when Gilmore finally got his first ball closest to the jack down he goes quickly coming down they both play the game at a very quick pace they both want to get on with it that may change as the game goes on one might want to slow the other down but Matt's going towards a part of the green that he's played very well today he's got a little mark over the crown where he puts them close Making Gilmore, Gilmore's making Smith think before he delivers. Not sure he's reached. Needs to run. He's trying his best, you know. Ooh, just turned its nose up. It did. Down he goes, Gilmore, as you say, playing at a quick pace. We're looking to alter his road a little bit this time, but he may be still underneath, but he might clip Ooh. his own closer. Uh, that's good, that's worked out well. I think he'll end up striking at these, it's only one. He can't get another hit back, can he? He could. <laughs> he could end up anywhere. Watch out if you're on the scoreboard side of the green, although you're 30 yards away from where the Jack's placed now. Here goes the strike. Has he hit? He, oh, oh. <laughs> he's well, been lucky again. He's, he's left the just one this time, and the one remaining ball... And I would have thought that if Matt Gilmore seen it, it was not his ball left on the green, he might have packed him up and put him in his ball's case and come off, Andy, but I he's got one. Right. <laughs> he's got away with that as Greg, he's hit his own ball, he's missed the target by a good 18 inch or so, and he's ended up getting the nearest ball off the green, and Matt's been fortunate to count one, really. Mm. Very, very fortunate. Well, he's going, going across the green towards the where the bulk of the the crowd is now. And I think this is the area where he's been playing early in his game. That's right. Matt Gilmore. We won't be too happy with that lead, of course, but uh, he's had some good successes. Started off with a 21-13 win, followed that up with a 21-13 win as well. But uh, Greg Smith has been pushed all the way up until the quarter-final game, where he romped home in his quarter-final. So it's interesting at the moment, and... Uh, how the early stages of the game is unfolding. We'll level at two. Let's not forget, Greg could have easily gone out in his first game of the day. Mm. Didn't play well at all and just got out. I think the lad he was playing was a little bit inexperienced. What a ball this is. Yeah. Great ball, Matty Gilmore. Fantastic. He's 3-2 down at the moment, but could be up at level scores in a moment. He's got Smith playing through once again. He likes to play through, but his hands up. Matt Gilmore and it's one on the score sheet 3-3 three, three. Yeah, changed his peg at it trying to hit that ball that red ball full in the face and he would have stopped in for two well played ball just didn't put it on the right road does he ever slow down Greg Smith though you're talking about Gilmore wanting to play quick could Greg Smith play at a slower pace if he wanted to I don't think he no, could no. I don't think he could so we're going to have a fast game. You can see him on the green, you know, he's playing with the ball, he's, he's pacing up and down, he's wanting to send that ball. 
Same distance, same part of the green. Yeah, likes what he's likes what he sent out, Andy Kearns. Good lead, very good lead. This is the, this is where he's done all his damage today. He's put away some very very good players. Just up and down this mark, just playing the one mark, and that's sometimes all you need. Are you holding your breath here? It's just tight, just gone tight. That might just be the difference, right hand, left hand. Who knows? Absolutely, yes. Because playing underneath the crown, you're coming at it at different angles, and it just affects the ball slightly differently. Oh, good balls, they're close here. Well, he's going to be striking, surely. Well, he thought about it, but now he might just be playing through to try and nudge it through and have a bit of luck with his ball being at the back. If he takes the jack right, he could be making the end is. No, he hasn't. It was wrong decision, was it, Andy? Well, think? no, I think he's, he's actually, I think he's played the right ball. Um, but the way Greg's been striking, that probably would have been the better bet for him. He's played the harder shot. It's now Matt Gilmore, who didn't get the opening chalks on the scorecard in this game, has taken the lead. Merseyside County player started out well fancied with the bookies 16 to 1 the 2001 winner and that day of course it was here and he beat well one of the best in the game and G.I. Wilson of course when he won it yes so uh, that tells its own story some of the locals were telling me that they had all four seasons in the one day they had all sorts that day they had snow no not snow hailstone <laughs> sorry not snow doesn't snow in July does it they had hailstone that day wow well this not led particularly well there the uh, the previous winner the winner of the new Brighton Classic this year of course and looking to uh, topple the hot pot favourite in Greg Smith but uh, does he recover his Lead ball with his second ball here, Andy. He's what, better. What do you think? He's a lot better. Doesn't need to bend anymore. Ooh, it picked up speed, didn't it? That's, that did very badly. Thought it was a lot better than that going across. So, Greg Smith looking to count two. And he should be level again after this ball. Big crowd roar. Top of the jack. Two. For the left-hander. 23 year old in blue down he goes towards the scoreboard side of the green a little bit further level at five all five all seven ends played mm. going to the right lick is this yeah. don't forget they've had a dead end they've had a measure they've <laughs> yeah all sorts have been going on decent length lead tricky mark Gilmore looks on a better row, but I'm not quite sure he's got the pace of the ball. No, just short. Just short. They've been playing 12 minutes. <laughs> 12 minutes, seven ends played. Five across. Oh, he's got one here. That's positively sprinting. And that's, this is a class this ball. Level. He likes to talk to them, doesn't he? Oh, just yes. as he gets there, he has a little word with them. Tell them, thank you, your beauty. He's very watchable. He's yeah. good for the crowd. Yeah, can, good for the game. Can get involved. Is he too far back? He is. He's Might outside the line. We're leaving two. He is. Big shout from the crowd. Two more for Smith. Smith edges in front. He likes to go down this middle of the green towards the number two green. That's the crowd on his side. A lot of money will be on him from the off even though he was in the tough half of the draw they were still backing his ability and he's led a niggling lead ball there'll be a lot of big money backers on him an awful lot of money I know I do know a lot in the crowd who's, who's taken the 16 to 1 on Gilmore as well so the bookies they might be trembling either way here well he's good played response a, yeah great ball He's colour coordinated, and he Matt Gilmore. He knows what's right. Red top, red balls. Yeah, we just need to get Greg <laughs> to play with some blue sets, and we will be right. Here he goes. He's after it. Fancies its chances. He could have pulled out one here. Oh, oh just touched his own. Not enough. Dangerous for Gilmore to come for two, but he might have the confidence that he can make two. Well, there's not a lot of danger on a length. Even if he hits that short ball, I don't think he can put it in. Has he reached? Has he reached? Oh, no, he's not. Oh, perfect road. Uh, throws the mat down in anger, really, because I think he should have got two. But uh, 
quality balls here high standard two of the top players in the game fighting it out representing their counties Matt Gilmore leading out Merseyside standing behind him Greg Smith Warwick and Worcester and uh, he's down in the heavy corner Andrew and uh, this has been an area where a lot of people have not reached the jack how's this one looking yeah it's a dead length he's just a ball tight really he's just pegged a little bit of the finish gives the next one a little bit more land he'll have a front toucher this is I don't think this is near enough to, to beat Greg to be honest but the way he's playing he's full of confidence needs to run and peg can't do now no it's drifted out there's not a lot of peg in the green though Andrew anywhere no it's very shallow marks on the green because of the, the the crown's not that high and the greens uh, the greens fairly shallow pegging everywhere it's just a nice green to play on. Yeah, just drawn a second, I think, Gilmore. We're not satisfied that it's close enough. And as you said earlier in commentary, they're not looking from the footer good enough to count no. against Greg Smith. He's close, you know. Wins. Very close. Needs a contact. Got it. Makes two. Does he make two? And Gilmore looks down the crowd. Then looks at the end. He's clipped the jack towards his own ball. That's another look, two yeah, down. Two down, that's a massive ball. Two up to two down, four chalk swing. Mm, now it changes. Massive. Gilmore was thinking that he might have just been edging in front with a few points. All of a sudden finds himself 9-6 down. That was a massive ball in the con context of this game. And Greg going back to that part of the green that he's, he's had a lot of success towards the scoreboards. Broke this out first time. Looks on a decent road. All about length now. All about length. Yes, Greg, the shouters from the crowd. Might have drifted past a foot or so, but to still a good lead. Of course, they're going nearly 40 yards mm. over undulating ground. Caught him out here. Yeah. Short off land. It's a bit of a, a different distance here from Greg Smith. He certainly is an all-round player. He has a, an all-round a, a game that he isn't to frightened to uh, vary the lens. Oh, when he burst on the scene a few years ago, everyone said, oh, he's only a short mark player, but he, he's shown he's got more in his locker than that. Look at that, stepped over the ball. He knew it was a good and very nice. Fire on here. Strike coming from Matt Gilmore, the Merseyside player. Holding his red ball, here he goes. Striking thumb peg. Doesn't strike as hard as Greg, that's for sure. No, might hit the back one, no he hasn't. He's hit an eight, and now the score changes with uh, two doubles going Greg Smith's way. Takes him to 11-6 in this semi-final. Oh, we'll have had a wonderful day here in the sunshine. Maybe a glass of wine or so. Shouting on their man, whoever they've backed. Well, it's a star studied lineup from the off. And we've reached the, the semi finals with, well, top quality players. No doubt about that. Real top quality players. The organisers couldn't have asked for anything better. We've got four players like this in the semi finals. Anyway. Concentration now is across the centre of the green to the scoreboard end from the club side of the green. And has it, you know, he's caught him short, but better road. And I think that's just pinched the point on the first balls that both players have delivered. Gilmore trying to go a different way. He's playing through here. He's forced Gilmore onto the back. On he's done it. He's done it full. The ball forced him to play on the round peg, the thumb peg. Couldn't get past it on the finger. Oh, good turnover. He's just got to play the same ball. It's not easy. <laughs> All changes with your mindset because from being on to being two down is different. Now this looks a different pace altogether. Looks too far to me. Needs a hit. Well, saves one. Very, very fortunate. Matt Gilmore edging closer. Midway point of the semi-final. 
12 9 down, he's just caught up with the last two or three ends. We're edging towards number end at number 14, leading out in his red uh, t shirt with his red balls to match. Merseyside County player. How's this one looking, Andrew? Looks a little bit off the road. Lens good, just to back, outside the line. Of course, you're playing right over the crown here. If you're any fraction outside the line, it'll just stay there. It won't, won't ever peg back. <clears throat> Off he goes with his left-handed delivery, Greg Smith. Watching it every way, is he here? No, he's not short. Short, giving up. Can't afford to touch it though. Hits it with any pace, he puts it in. Turned it over? Yeah, turned it over. I don't think it'll peg an awful lot. This needs to run. If it runs, it's a good one. Uh, yes, it's a good ball now. Yeah, very good ball. Turned it over. Smith will just play up on his line of his first ball, but wants to get two yards in it. We'll still see. He's ah, changed it over. Changed it over as well. He's certainly tight. He's too tight. It's got to go. Got to go sometime. Can't even save one. He from can. It. Oh no, it can't. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Thought he was going to sit that ball. Well, the Merseyside crowd have come to life. Who are following Matt Gilmore? Two more on the score sheet. Scoreboard draws ever closer for the man from Merseyside. If my scoring tells me right, it should be Gilmore in eleven. Smith 12. Thoughts now on drawing the game? Well, it's totally, totally turned around, hasn't it? It looked like Greg Smith was almost home and hosed at 11-6, playing full of confidence. And now Matty Gilmore has got hold of the jack and just changed things a little bit, playing with a lot of confidence. And just at the vital stage when he needed a lead, he's just let a bit of water in here. Well... Smith will want to be playing one close. And we just played a couple of uh, unusual poor standard balls for this youngster. He was take the game by storm. Now then. Oh, he's played now well. then. Uh, he's got it right this time. Good rectification. Yeah. Very good ball. Yeah. Trying to put his blocker in first. <laughs> Well, he'll play for the try and play this one out of the side, will yeah, he? Jack or ball's good. Jack or ball does it. Will it peg? Oh, oh. Well, he's clipped his own. Well, I don't yeah. think he's knocked enough far enough. Knocked it far enough. Well, we're level at the scoreboard. 12 across. 12 all. I mean, looked as though Greg Smith had uh, got himself in control. But Matt Gilmore, very experienced, knows what it takes. Been there, done it all. Knew that he was still. Fighting hard in the game has got him back to 12 all. And he will be more confident now that he could be the one that can uh, be the next one to have a run and get a few points in front. Well, a lot of this game's about confidence and you keep hold of the jack for any length of time, it fills you full of it. If he can play a lead here, he'll think he can win this game, no problem. Dead length again. Yeah. Just not finding the road coming this way. Looks difficult. This needs to run. It's short again. Now he's giving Gilmore every opportunity to feel confident and to get a ball closer to the jack. He won't peg all that, but he's laying two. And I think if Greg beats them, he'll have to come the other peg personally. I'm not sure he can get round his own ball. May be able to get inside it. Well, it doesn't peg a lot, so he might be better on the inside. The danger what? is running in the back of it. It's not here That's for the me. danger. Two. Crowd beginning now to then. get right behind Matty Gilmore, who's come from behind to go 14-12 up. The man wearing number nine on his back. And the man who knows what it's like to win here, of course. He will have great memories of when he won this competition. Back in 2001, the 21-16 winner that particular day. It's all about getting through his semi-final match now against the red-hot favourite, Greg Smith. But once again, lead not good enough. 
Yeah, another bad lead down there, but Craig's not been punishing him. He's only just been beating his leads. If he's even managed that, really got to punish a bad lead. This looks wide. Yeah, it does. This looks very wide. It could never be a good one. It's not, not even pegging towards the jack now. It's just hanging and hanging. Got to be a rectification here with a good ball from... Uh, misses his own. Misses he's, his own. He's after him, flicking it yeah. away. Waving it on. Good ball now. Adrenaline's boiling now. Uh, Andrew from Matt Gilmore. It's really, really pumped up. Absolutely pumped up. Greg's become a little bit subdued. Changed peg, has he? Yeah, had a go underneath with that pace. One more to Gilmore. 15 12. Now then, this is going to test Greg Smith's resolve. Can he get back? Can he force his way back into the game? A lot at stake, a lot of pressure on the youngster. All from 10 o'clock this morning. So uh, he's got to live with it even more now against. Well, Matt Gilmore, who's in flowing form, you could say, he's really going it, although he would be disappointed with some of his lead balls. Well, I think he's been getting away with them, hasn't he? That's, uh, he's in this position despite his leads, not because of them. Well, he's led one here, Andrew. It's not too shabby, this. Not too shabby. Good ball. That's the best lead he's played for some time. If you get back in a game and get in front of this man without leading, well, something's going your way. Now then, have you reached, Greg? This will be your fifth ball towards this end and been short every time. Mm. Dead length. Stick Found a length at last. Sticking it out, though. Gilmore's coming for two. He likes it. Better road. Is he here? He likes it. Needs to run. Is he here? Can't get. Perfect track. Oh, what a road. Oh, he two. thinks it's two. That's, a, That's quickly put two up there. It's a very confident shout, is that? Well, I wouldn't be back in the red ball there, Andrew, <laughs> from my position. But anyway, he, he will be telling the truth. I'm not doubting him. Yeah. And uh, he's striking. And he's not far off. Not heard anything. Well, all you can see... A two hands raised for Matty Gilmore. And from being a few points adrift, all of a sudden, the favourite is in trouble now, Craig Smith. He's 17 12 down as we go into the 20th end of this semi final. Now, then, I'm not saying it's a turn up, Andrew, because that's doing a disrespect to Matty Gilmore as a top player. But when Smith had got those points in the bag, at that particular stage, it looked to me he was leading well, that he was on the way to victory. You're absolutely right. At 11 6 up, I would have thought he'd have seen the game out quite comfortably, but uh, full credit to Matt. He's mm. played really, really well once he's got, got hold of the jack. His leading hasn't been as good as it could, it's been a bit hit and miss, but it's been good enough and that's all that matters at this game that's right it's not about how close you get them it's about getting them closer than your opponent exactly right now then smith's giving him something to think about here now then that's a good reply yeah. that's more like the responses we we know of it'll take its toll it's been red hot conditions most of the day they've played a lot of games a lot of uh, things have gone into the head it looks to me as though he's overplayed now he's giving him an opportunity to get back in the game I'm sure that Greg Smith will want two from this end. Lines it up, takes his time, doesn't let anybody put him off. Come out beautifully. Should be a two pretty simple for me for a bowler of this ability. Won't miss this opportunity. He's Waving it on. Get on a bit. Yeah, yeah gets far one. enough. Far enough. I think he's just getting himself wound up again. Now then, interesting which way he goes. Takes a breather, pulls the trousers up. Crowd of his followers are happy with him getting a break back. He's coming in the heavy corner. And there's nothing in it. Here we go. He's after it. Yeah, likes it. Likes it. Good ball, this. Good one. Ah, oh, terrific lead, son. 
you see, see what response uh, he's got, Matty Gilmore. He's just been dictating the game, but now he's only three points in front. Is he here? Close, because he's on a road. Very close. Very close. Good ball, oh, Matty Gilmore. Brilliant. Bit of a strictly come dancing move there to celebrate that one as well, Andrew. What a ball. Just trying to get the crowd wound up, I think. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic ball. Yeah, that's put that's put uh, Greg in all sorts of trouble. What does he do? He's got to come the other peg. Yeah. He's got to do. Yeah. Well, he must be tight. Yeah, must be tight. Yeah. Well, there's not a lot of danger. No, no, I don't think there is, really. I think he'll just try and play the same ball. Well, he hasn't played short for me. No need to. It might be just a little bit underneath. But he played a cracking mm. ball to break Greg Smith's sequence there. To go 18-14 in front. That's when it counts, when you're under pressure and produce one like that, Andrew. It gives you a real lift, doesn't it, to lead out your next end. Well, you'd have been you'd have been very happy as Greg Smith with that ball there. It was less than a foot. Bang in front of the jack. Uphill mark, heavy corner wasn't certain to beat it and he's just put one inside it like it wasn't there tremendous ball off to the middle of the green just over the crown that's all he's a perfect weight he's not got it he just slide, slide under now a little bit just overplayed of course this is the sort of mark greg oh. smith will play i was just interested to see get your comment on that because i think you know is that the right decision he's made because that would have been a greg smith mark wouldn't it it would sometimes you just don't you don't have to worry about what your opponent's going to do you play where you think you're going to put a good ball up well, i'm not just sure that's near enough but we'll find out in a second well smith's up to the crown drifts away Good ball. Now he needs to find one here, Gilmore. He's put, produced some quality ones to respond. Has he got it? Oh, wow. he has indeed. He's really pumped up. And Greg Smith turns away. Now he's got a decision to make. The Merseyside crowd are in great voice. Here goes Smith. Plays through. Looking for a connection. Doesn't want to switch it. He fancies it. Got to get a bit of luck. Gets a bit oh, of he's luck. Done. He's made Policy two. Three, two Smith. Made two. Look at him. What a ball. Wow, that was a bit of uh, working out and it's worked his way and the game changes once again as wow. Gilmore looked to be closing in towards 21. All of a sudden, two for Smith. Clenches his fist, throws it up in the air. It's 16 18, Andrew Kahn. Wow, what a ball that is. They, oh. You couldn't script this, could you? Oh, oh what yeah, a what game! What a ball! Yeah, what it's, a game! It, it, it's easy. It looked an easy shot, but not to make two out of it. You might have made one, but hit that absolutely perfectly. A little bit fortunate, but to get get a two at this stage of the game, massive, absolutely massive. Oh. And what a celebration afterwards! Yeah, he backed his judgment. That's the thing. He knew the, what he wanted, and then he waited for a little bit of lady luck to be on his side. But he was on the right line and he got it. Now he has to lead out. There's nothing to choose between the two players. There might be a two-point advantage Gilmore's way, but how they're playing, you can't divide them. That's not so bad there. No, it's a teaser. I almost thought he might have had measures on these for the... Has he won it? It's got a peg. No, it's, it's got a peg. Pointing to Greg. Can you get another? Could go all the way, Andrew. We've already had a 20 all game in his competition with him. That ended up with a measure to win it. It could go all could the way. Happen again. He likes this. What a ball this is. Oh, that's superb. He's Exhibition a, stuff. He's nearly giving it a kiss. <laughs> he's nearly giving it a kiss. Exhibition hey, oh, there's a strike on for Gilmore. He's oh, hit one. He's got one out. So he'll be happy to hit one and uh, keep his one he's point advantage. One but what a game. What a game. Absolutely stunning match. Very boring, this Crown Green Bowls like, isn't it? <laughs> Brilliant. They're playing. They're treating the crowd to top class play. And I'm pretty sure the viewers will love what they're watching. 
off he goes Greg Smith 17 18 down needs a contact getting it he's got it He's got some moves, hasn't he, as well? He's got some shapes, hasn't he? Where you, yeah, yeah, you can do a bit of dancing. Wouldn't mind seeing him in a nightclub. <laughs> Very impressive. That's without him winning and celebrating. Well, oh, just missed it. Look, he's dancing running. off the mat now. Off. He was running his opponent's ball out there. Brilliant. He's entertaining the crowd, and it's a great game to watch. It's in the right do or die end of it. An 18-17 in Matt Gilmore's favour, but Smith lies two. And he's dancing it in. Well, look at that. Plenty of gaps. Oh, yeah, that's the old part. Stopping the ball inside one of those gaps. What does Gilmore think? Well, it's close. They up. He's close. He's, he's running quicker. It's close. Crowd are shouting. Yeah. One Gilmore. He's producing it. He isn't getting taken away. He isn't getting uh, moved away from the crowd who are shouting Greg Smith home. And he doesn't mess about. You've said Andrew early in commentary. He's out and quickly on with the game. No, there's, there's no stopping these guys. It, it's breathless stuff. It really <laughs> is. We just got topped up with our water. We need it in the commentary position. What's he led here? It's not so bad. A little bit of run. A little bit of run. No. Live and let live lead. Uh, didn't fancy it now. Didn't wanted it to run on a yard. But he's on the road and that's the key. I'm, I can't get my breath great. No, it's brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. I'm worn out watching them. <laughs> I don't know how they are playing it. But 1917, you've got to give it a well everything, every credit you can think about yeah. with the pressure on. This is a better road. Yeah, it's a good ball all round this. Good ball all round. He's two from up, Gilmore, but that two, to get it, could be a long time. Well, nobody's home at 19. It's a 21 up game. Looks to back to me. Might win off it. Can he win off it? Can he knock it in? If it falls down, he can. I think that's in. I think he's knocked that ball in. Well, Greg Smith had some unusual strike earlier. He's made a, oh, con he's made a connection. Spectator on the green. Matt Gilmore's made a connection. He's telling the supporter to get off the green. He's saying measure. And the referee is telling the supporter to get off the green. There's nothing in it, and you're exactly right. Uh, he will come up, Greg Smith. Yeah, he's doing the right thing. Yeah, there's not much in it from where we are. We're right over the top yeah. of the end. At 19-17, Greg Smith will now come and judge for himself to find out who's in. Is he showing any indication, body language-wise, what he thinks? I suppose he won't. He'll just keep it to himself as he moves away, walks back some 30 yards to the mat. He's one ball to play. I'm not tipping who's in at that particular end with one to play. From our commentary position, I just like the red ball, but there's a lot of shadows on there. But it doesn't really affect Greg's shot. He can afford to reach at the end as long as he's on the right side of the jack. Jack or ball, he makes two. And he's gone for it. He's gone for it. Well, this is a brave ball. He's gone for it. He's close, you know. He's done it. Surely. It's drifted oh. away. Ooh. Now then. Wow. They're going to call the <laughs> referee and measure it. Greg, Greg's already signalled one, so... That's really leaning into the jack, isn't it, his ball, Craig Smith? Um, I think they'd be better using some sort of metal calipers or something like that yeah. rather than these strings. We're looking to get the strings in. Need a steady hand or two officials. Watched by the referee. Yeah. Smith already Any, Anything thinks, could happen here. Smith thinks he's in. Smith is in. It's 18-19 mm. in the semi-final of the closing stages of this particular tournament, 2016. And Greg Smith, the 23-year-old from Warwick and Worcester, winner of lots of major titles at this young age of his game, is really in a titanic battle. Smith made the favourite once he'd disposed of Gary Ellis. But Matt Gilmore won this tournament here back in 2001 as a one-point advantage. But it's all now down to nerves, tension, and who can take it to the end. Not a bad lead. 15, 16 inch past the jack. Put a little bit of pressure on Matt. Matt stuck it out wide. Expecting it to come in, but they never do. If you get outside, they never come back. No. I think I fancy Greg to improve on that. I can, I can see this going right down to the wire now. 
Well, if Craig Smith gets two here, he's 20, can win at one end. Lying on 19, also can win at one end. Oh, he's got a good ball in front of his large faithful followers and the uh, teasing, tormenting two balls that Matt Gilmore has to beat. Looks at it, pressure on. Is yeah. he turning over? I think he is, he is. Well, he's playing through. Well, he must be tight, surely. He's playing through. Must, the it, bias takes effect now, full. It nearly wins it. Oh, oh, he's had a colli collision and it's followed through and it's oh. gone all the way through to Greg Smith's ball at the back. And it was a little unlucky there because he did play the right ball. It didn't work for him. And you could see the tension in his face then, Andrew, when he turned away, thought he'd gone to 20, but we're stuck at 19 all. What a climax. He was actually quite fortunate there, really, to, to save the one. I know he's, he could have easily just missed it on the wrong side and he'd still have been two down. Just held. It's a cracking semi-final, this. Cracking semi-final. Greg going to his favourite mark on this green, shallow, round peg towards the scoreboards. So Desperate for a lead. All about his lead, he's got this, he's off, he's on his dance, he's, oh. he fancies it, but it's just a little bit short, but once again it's a niggler. Not bad on the mark. No, it isn't, it's a tester for Matt Gilmore, 19 all in the semi-final. Now then. Is he, is he farther? It needs to run, needs to run. Won it? No. <laughs> no, yes. He's wafted it, and I don't know whether he's wafted it enough. They're pointing. Can't Smith. tell. Smith. He's having another look, Gilmore. Smith goes to have a look. That's how much pressure is on these Doesn't two players. 19 all in the semi final. The plates in the final awaits the winner. What a fantastic game we've been witnessing here at the semi final stage between these two top class players who've produced top class balls. There's no doubt about that. Now then, Greg Smith walks back thinking knows what his decision is mm. now he's got to make a decision what type of ball he plays Andrew I think he'll just try and play a front toucher right. he'll just try and <laughs> put a footer running in his last and try and play a front toucher that's the sort of player he is yeah well full of confidence in his own ability yeah back your own ability lad and see if you can get game on you never know could be over at this end it could here he goes he's watching it he's stalking it I think it's just drifted just by, gone. but his idea was exactly what you said there in commentary, that he was going to go for two. Now then, it could be interesting if, if, if... Can Matt get two? He's after it, he likes it, he likes it. What's go past what his own? Ball. Oh, what terrific, ball. and he's going for... He fancies two. Gilmore, I think, fancies two. Smith's quickly called for the measures. Gilmore's definitely got one, and I think Gilmore thinks it's game over. What a delivery under pressure. Now then, we'll look at them. He's going to watch these uh, measurers and officials here. That was a superb ball from Matty Gilmore. Gilmore's... Do any more than that. Gilmore's been measured first. Well, we're waiting for a shake of hands. Yes, Gilmore wins. That's it. And Matt Gilmore is the first player through to the final and he clenches his fist and goes to his supporters. And what an outstanding game of balls, Andrew Carnes. 21-19 for Matt Gilmore from Merseyside. Away goes the favourite, Greg Smith, beaten in the semi-final, but not disgraced. Outstanding. What a tremendous game of balls that is. I'm so glad that cameras have caught that. That is, how, that is what Crown Green Balls is about. Two top-class bowlers giving nothing asking for nothing and what a game we've seen there Matty Gilmore fully deserved win looked dead and buried and he's come right back played really really well to get back in it and to go in front he's taking the applause he's having a nice swig of his liquid uh, drink there 51 minutes the match length 21-19 for Matt Gilmore and the Merseyside contingent are oh, rubbing their hands what a game 27 ends nothing to choose between the two players outstanding bowling and in the end Matt Gilmore got his nose in front to book his place in the final oh, I can't believe it you're playing against Greg and, and he's such a good player probably the best around at the moment and, and you just know you're gonna have to play top draw and the whole game was it, it was a pleasure to play in yeah it was it was, it was quite scary at the end but really enjoyed the, the game the commentators on the match, they've been around a little bit and they said it's one of the best matches they've ever seen. They said, you know, the quality throughout was just incredible. 
Yeah, well, just we just managed to go toe to toe really, and um, it, it, he would play good bowls, I would play good bowls, and it and it was just end for end. It was just great to be involved in really. Right at the very end, did you know? Did you suspect that you held that shot? Yeah, I've, I, I did like my own, and I knew I needed to try and get two because I didn't fancy playing another end to be honest. So I just had to go for it. Yeah. Yeah. And you've put the hot favourite out now. So the final, the other match is still taking place. Uh, who do you fancy, or you, you, could it be anybody? It could be anyone. I'm just happy to be there. Who, who, you know, going to be a hard game, whoever you play. Well, you're going to give them a, a pretty hard game as well. Well done, Matt. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. So a match that you felt could have gone either way, but it was Matt Gilmore who held his nerve right at the very end to win by 21 points to 19. And Greg Smith, who's knocked out some top players on the way through, goes home as a disappointed semi-final loser. In a repeat of the 1997 final, well, Andy Moss got his revenge. He won by 21 points to 17 and will now face Gilmore in the final, which will be in our next programme. Thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.